Hi everyone and welcome back to the Paperless Movement YouTube channel. I'm Tom Solid and I help you to level up your digital life. I cannot wait to show you this update today about Miro. It's really important for me personally because I'm using Miro solely for mind mapping and how I do this and how you can do this, I show you this in my latest online course that you can access if you're an Inner Circle member. So I will just put the link in the description below if you want to learn more how to do creative research and how to really build highly interactive mind maps that really help you to to establish concepts, understand concepts, do research and all this. Make sure to go over there. As for all my online courses, this one is also in 4K, so you really should see anything I'm doing there. Just when I launched this online course, Miro updated their application with some new features when it comes to not mind mapping and I want to show you this today. This is really awesome. So uh, make sure to check out this video. But for now, let's get started and dive into it. So if you follow this channel and maybe you did an online course already, then you know we have a general mind mapping feature. And this feature only allowed you to create some basic mind maps so far. And we had here only this version available, but now here's the new feature. I was complaining about this from day one that I cannot do it below here. So let's just create some more stuff or let's go to another mind map that I actually created inside my online course already. So this one, and now what this allows me that I can now switch to this version. And that's really nice. I mean, if, I know many using MindNode and MindChat and all this. For you, this is something that all the other apps offer already. However, in Miro, this is just not even scratching the surface of, of what you can do with Miro. However, this is a dedicated tool that you can use inside Miro for mind mapping. But what you can do in Miro is actually free form mind mapping as I call this and um, it looks more like this and you can really become, become recreative when it comes to proper mind mapping. You see I also imported or actually added here some YouTube videos. You can add YouTube videos, you can watch them in there and so on. So this is what I really use for creative mind mapping. However, for note taking mind maps or general overview mind maps, this is a great tool to use in there as well. And now I'm really excited that they actually added this feature that we can switch from horizontal to a vertical alignment thing. And this means also when I now change to this one and I drag these things around, uh, I can do this like this and I bring it down there, for example and you just click this button, it will rearrange er, rearrange everything. However, it doesn't stop there. They added another feature. So this means I, I can now click on this and write something in there. And now I have these two new dots here. So this means I can now connect different parts. Even if there's nothing written in there, I can now cr connect these parts with, with each other. So this is really exciting stuff going on here that we now can connect this. As I said, you might be underwhelmed with this feature if you're using another mind mapping tool already, but this is, a, to me, a big step forward in the right direction when it comes to the dedicated mind mapping tool inside Miro. But it doesn't stop there. They added something far more exciting. Let's say we had a workshop inside the Inner Circle talking about different tools. Okay, we, we just collect information like Todoist, we have Asana, ClickUp, Miro, let's use something else, Procreate, Notion, Day1, and Nochelf. All right, so let's see, say we collected information together in a workshop, something like that, we have it like this. In Miro, you can actually add text to these different post-its. So let's do this. Let's say this is a task manager. This is also a task manager. We make it simple. It's a project manager, it's a personal task management tool and so on. But keep it this way, keep it simple right now. So all of these are task managers and let's just dedicate this as a mind mapping tool. And um, here we have a drawing app. But 
this way. With day one, we journaling tool. And here we have also like a journaling tool. You can use it like this. We can use it as a note taking app. And this one we can use as a note taking app as well. If you don't have added this app already, go to the three dots, go to add more apps. And in here we look for clusterizer. Okay, that's a new tool they added. Just click on here. And now we add this cluster razor. You get some information what this is and so on. And just say get app. It opens up here on the extra thing and I can click on install. And it's installed and it gives you a tutorial how to use this and so on. We reload the board by command R on Mac. And we go to the three dots. You see already a blue dot here. And here it is, the clusterizer. And I will actually drag this in here already, so I have it handy. Now I select these post-its, click on the clusterizer. It opens up the sideboard. And we see now this. Okay, you can zoom in. That's a preview how this will look like once you finished creating this. And you see already the big dots are my tags of the post-its. And those are my post-its. So it connect, it gives you a completely different overview and actually builds something like you know already with the neural not network and the connection between the different between between the different information. So it's important that you don't click build while you're on this uh, view. Just go away, zoom out maybe even, go somewhere else, and now click build because it will fill up on this position. Otherwise, it would overlap, and then you even can. You know, you can resize it. You can whatever you want to do with this. But this is awesome now because now I have connected information automatically. Okay, so you actually have a build up. And then it works like you are used to. You can build out these things and make it this way and so on. But it just very click quickly. If you have a loads of different post-its with different information, but you categorized it by different tags, then with one click of a button, you really get an organized view of the things that matter. Okay. So when I select this, it shows me this again. So let's say, so let's delete this. And now let's connect these more or less. So let's say that's also a task manager, as many people claim. Task manager. And um, let's say in Miro, Miro, we can also, you know, let's say that's a drawing app as well. And people also use ClickUp to be a note-taking app and so on. So now let's see what happens. There we go. We built this again somewhere else. And there we go. And now you have the connections. You see build ClickUp is connected between these dots. And Notion is now connected with, with these three dots and so on. I think you get the idea. You have surely different use cases that you could use this with each other. Obviously, you're still free to connect this afterwards um, a different way like this. Of course, it would be great now once I connect this that it actually applies this tag as well. But this is not working this way. So it is really working when you have this and then you want to build one time mind map out of this. So it would be great if it just updates on a regular basis like this, but it is not working this way. So I'm sure you see now a high potential what you can do with these new updates in inside Miro. And I know they're also working on a great update when it comes to using the Apple Pencil on your iPad to create new mind maps. Make sure that you don't miss this interview with the product manager from Miro that I have in the near future, where we talk about all the different things and why I actually use Miro and so on. We will dive deep into this. So don't miss this on here on YouTube, but also in my podcast. Make sure if you haven't already to subscribe to these channels and give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends if they don't know about this update in Miro. And I'll catch you up next time.